Hi, I'm Tom Dolder. I brought an MVS31 with us today. This is uh, one of the smaller chamber style machines that exists in the world. The controls on it are really very easy to understand once you kind of figure out what the pictures are telling you. So the first control over here on this side is the amount of vacuum that is coming out. And the next one is the gas flush. Now, most home machines are not equipped with gas flush. That's something that uh, somebody that produces food would do. It requires an extra cylinder, like a nitrogen or a CO2 cylinder, and it's not something that homeowners really need to mess with very often. So generally, this is not a cycle that's often used on this style of machine. The red button here is a stop button. The S rolls through the different settings. Up and down arrows will adjust either the pre-programmed settings or the quantitative values of each setting. The seal time is indicated here and this is uh, will tell you when the machine is getting air back in it. So let's for instance let's take a look at settings for P1. The top S button is going to tell you that this is going to suck out 99.9% .9 of the air. Um, the next setting is your extended vacuum. Now the extended vacuum is something that I generally reserve for very specialized sealing. Generally if you're just bagging things up in a freezer, meats, fish, um, even vegetables, they aren't really, an extended vacuum really is not necessary. Um, further settings, the gas flush stays at zero because this machine is not equipped with it. The seal time you might like to change up and down as you need to. Since this machine is equipped with a cutoff wire and a seal wire, we're going to make it cut the bag off. So we're going to increase the seal time to 1.8. Well, let's go to 1.9. But you can raise and lower those settings as you need to. So now we're back to P1. If you want to change the setting for P2, P3, you have eight different programmable settings, so you can adjust all of the settings on here for different types of foods or products. Um, for instance, at home, we use one of these uh, and set it up so it has like five different settings, one that runs just for jars and no heat cycle, one that runs um, for, I don't know, we just do all kinds of things. Crackers have a different setting than jars do and so on. So. There you have it. Um, we'll go back to P1 and let's put something in here and see how it vacuum packs.